Um, I'm going to start with you, Ben. I'm just wondering, of course, you're playing out a character who's autistic. I mean, I was just wondering in regards to research, did you meet many people with that condition? What did you learn about them and from them in that, in that I did. met quite a few people and uh, um, talked to them at some length and learned a lot of things, mostly that they're all very different and that there's no one, you know, defining characteristic of, of autism and that... Uh, and I, what I surprised me was there was a tremendous amount of, of, of humor and joy in, in the, the interactions I have with these people, and I wanted to try to put some of that humor into the movie as well, so it wasn't just like a, it wasn't a story about a guy who was a victim. Well, one of the things I sort of love about this movie is it turns their condition into a superpower of sorts. It's almost what he has in his like locker, I suppose, when he's kind of defending, defeating the bad guys. Yeah, it's interesting. It's on the one hand, he has like he's born with this gift at math. On the other hand, the, the real, the more you know, impressive sort of viscerally power that he has is that he can fight so well but that's not even that's just a product of his father being scared for him and being worried that he would be different and he would be picked on and so in a way it's you know he comes by it honestly and in regards to all the kind of the sort of maths element of the of the screenplay i know i read that your mother helped you decide for this particular screenplay yeah yeah uh she was uh very helpful to me and uh and it was actually uh such a fun experience to be able to share this with her um you know i have never had the experience of working <laughs> with a family member and i think this is probably as, as close as i'll get so uh, i had like such a good time talking to her about the script and um you know uh what um aspects uh made sense and she uh, she even told me uh, how the um, person behind it all could have gotten away with it. So, you know, she's a charming woman. <laughs> and it feels like a, a little bit of a departure for you. And obviously some of the big kind of action sequences, it must be good fun to take on a role like this. Yeah, um, uh, I had a great time doing, you know, the little uh, action that I do. I feel like every time it gets brought up, I'm like, I'm, I feel bad. I did almost nothing. And you're like... Take credit for it. Yeah. Just yeah. bask in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so those those days were uh, were really fun. And, you know, you're just surrounded by people who are so good at what they do. You know, I, I basically just... Uh, it's one of those days where you're uh, basically just trying to stay out of everybody's way and be a puppet who hits their marks correctly um, and, you know, stay safe and get the... Uh, seal of approval from them. And then it's another role that you've undertaken where I feel like so much of it is internalised. And I find you play those roles incredibly well, even Arg and even Batman to some extent. I mean, a lot of it is kind of going on in their mind. It's not necessarily what they say. It's only a festival role that kind of appeals to you. Um, yeah, I think so. I also think that I'm of the belief that, like, you know, um, you don't have to do a lot as an actor. One of the things that I learned from directing was how much you know, you can communicate with, with very little and how that was my taste tended to run toward minim minimalism in acting in that way. I'm, I'm not a big like, you know, I believe it's just got to feel real. It's like Anna's got that gift of ability to just, everything she says sort of seems, I never am told her that I actually liked her in the movie until now, but I'm, I'm gonna give cry. it a look. <laughs> but you know, she's very naturalistic and very, um, you know, very, very realistic without, you know, having to do a whole lot. And that's my favorite kind of acting. So I guess that's the sort of thing I pursue. And finally, you've both got a couple of very exciting projects are coming up. Of course, Pitch Perfect Free. I was wondering if you could try and get a role for, for Ben in that movie. If, if I'm working on it, I'm getting a lot of pushback, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> From the fans. Yeah. yeah. And vice versa with Batman. There's ben? a lot of pushback. <laughs> <laughs> when does that all get started with Justice League? I mean, it's been filmed. The Justice League, already? we just finished out here in, in London. We shot yeah. for four. It actually, they're doing a week of mocap shooting that back in LA, but I was just wrapped in Iceland last week. So, just quickly, I mean, sort of tonally, what can we expect from that, that this kind of move Justice the franchise? League? Yeah. Uh, Justice League is, is definitely got a more f fun to it. I can't wait. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank I much you. appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!